Welcome to Shark Cap Table Fast, the one minute deal maker that helps you keep your arms and legs. Now instead of structuring a deal to sell, we are going to analyze a deal for sale typical of the telemarketing deals that cross my desk every week. To begin, we need to go to the red drop down that says hide all help who want to show. We want to do a telephone deal. Now we're ready. I'm going to split the screen so that we can see what's happening up here. And then we're going to go down to where we have the data. So the first question is, the phone rings. And you've been offered private shares in WizBank Corporation, a consumer products company. Do you hang up or listen? Try asking for the selling brochure and then use the shark cap table fast to analyze the deal for fairness. First, we must assemble the data. Now, this is the easy data here. Uh, let's assume that we've got about a $10,000 unit price and the shares will be 7,500 and there will be a total of, I think we can just come in here, and put in 40. And there we go. Um, now the cash invested in the company is going to be more like a hundred thousand. The additional value will be more like a million. Whizbang shares outstanding, let's say three million. And there will be a million, excuse me, a million options, warrants, and convertibles. And we think we're going to sell this according to the prospectus for ten million dollars in year two. All right, now we have to actually go up there and enter some data because that's just the collection of data. So the first thing we want to do is um, we've got a telephone deal. We show the show the helpful data and let's start dialing in. Oh. We've made one little problem here. We have a combo. So we have to make this back to equity. And we'll go back here. Now things are going to work. So here we need to put in $100,000. We need to put in a million dollars worth of additional value. Um, <coughs> shares outstanding are $3 million. And there will be how many options and warrants do we have here? We put a million in, so we have to dial in a million here. It'll be approximately a little bit over. doesn't make any difference. Now, we've got to put in the $10 million. So the blue must equal the red. We're almost there. There we are. Then we have to put in the blue to equal the red. That's the total units investment. And last but not least, we've got a share offering price of 133, so we have to increase pre-money value until we reach 133. It takes a little while to spin up, but be patient. Spinners are great to make incremental changes. And there we are, that's close enough. Oh no, no, no. Sorry, we gotta go to 133. A little bit farther. Ah, oh, there we go. 133. That's as close as we can get. Okay, now let's take a look and see whether or not we've got a deal here. Okay, so let's scroll down a little bit. Here's our investment multiple of 1.7. Doesn't sound very exciting so far. In year two, the uh, internal rate of return is 31.9% from a year two sale. Um, the Wiz founders are firmly in control. The units only have 9.1%. Uh, one of the problems that we have with this thing is there are so many options and um, uh, convertible uh, debentures turning into shares. 23.6% of the company is uh, coming on dilution. And then we've got 69% of the Wiz founders, and we only have 7%. So that really is not a very exciting deal. Now I'll show you some other things. What would happen if instead of year two, we sold in year four? Well, the investment multiple does not change through time, but the internal revenue, internal rate of return does. Watch what happens when we go to two. Watch what happens when we go to four. So obviously, a couple years makes a big difference. Now, furthermore, what would happen if we only had a $5 million sale? And well, $5 million sale is only 
negative 3.4 percent you don't even get your money back let's crank up and see what price we must get to even get two times your money back well we haven't even gotten it with 10 so this is a terrible deal let's go down and see what we've actually done think about these questions Are you really going to get see this exit value and what about the risks ahead haven't the founders and the option holders sucked too much out of the deal for hardly any cash of course isn't the pre-money value that drives share pricing way out of line with the founders valuation we'll look at this we think the founders valuation is 1.1 and they're using 5.3 to demonstrate or generate the pricing per share that they're offering um, aren't you paying too much for too little well sure you're putting in four hundred thousand dollars you're ultimately getting seven percent of the company not very good so ultimately we have a little disclaimer which is kind of fun to read we are in everybody's stupid investor list just so we can see the bad deals hardly a day goes by without a call from the telephone guy hyping a fabulous business opportunity we usually get the documents and are not surprised that nine times out of ten they are terrible deals the business proposition is super califragilistic expialidocious and not properly priced for the risks going forward the greed factor is incredible overpriced over promoted burdened by upfront fees and commissions and where sometimes only 50 percent of the money raised actually goes into expanding the business there is no way the investors will make out on these deals nearly all returns accrue to the promoters swim 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 away and keep your arms and legs as a benefit of using shark cap table fast thank you good night